my top 20 things that I'll be watching on TV this Christmas. So I'm wearing my Home Alone jumper that says Merry Christmas you filthy animal because TV is kind of related to film and I was planning on actually doing a top 10 Christmas films but then that's been done so many times and I'm sure you all know by now what Christmas films are out there and what your favourites are. I thought I would go through with the TV guide which I've got here. Um, and highlight everything that I want to watch at Christmas. I feel like that a lot of you guys probably watching my video don't actually watch a lot of TV and I don't watch as much as I used to. Um, a lot of people now over days obviously watch Netflix or YouTube or just on catch up but I feel like Christmas is the one time of the year where everyone sits down together and you just watch TV. You just watch whatever's on basically. You will watch stuff that maybe you haven't seen in years but there's a Christmas special so you'll watch it. Also everything I mentioned in this video is available to watch on iPlayer and catch up and I know uh, there's a lot of clashes between all these programs that I'm going to be talking to you about but obviously there's always the record or catch up on iPlayer just like I'm going to have to do. They're not in like my favourite order, uh, they're kind of going to go in order from oh like most recent to later so it's kind of going to go in like time order. I've got them on my laptop listed up and I'm also going to list in the comments below kind of when they're all on. So number one is EastEnders. Now if you know me you know that I'm a massive EastEnders fan. I've watched it ever since I can remember literally since I was probably about five years old um, and I love it and I watch it all throughout the year and I feel like again even if you don't watch EastEnders throughout the year EastEnders is just it's a traditional British Christmas thing that you will watch and you will all, all your family watch and like I said you may have not seen it for years but you watch it because it's Christmas um, and it's super good story this year if you haven't watched it in a while it is actually focused on an old family this year it's on the Brannons about Max Brannon because he's gone loopy and mad so definitely check it out on Christmas day um, it's also obviously on pretty much every day in the Christmas period I'm going to link the times and the days below the main times to look out for is on Christmas Eve it's on 8 o'clock on Christmas Day it's on at 9 and then on Boxing Day it's on at half 7. There's not a New Year's Eve special but I'm pretty sure it's on on New Year's Day and if you didn't know it's on BBC One. Number 2 is Elf the Musical and it's going to be screened live. Now this Christmas it's been at the Lowry Theatre in Salford um, and I know it's been on Broadway before I'm not sure if it's been on like any other place in the UK but they're actually doing a screening live tonight when you're watching this 5pm it started um, on Channel 5 but it's actually being repeated on Christmas Day so the Monday it's 6pm if you are going to miss it tonight and you want to catch up on it so obviously I've not seen it um, but I know it's had really good reviews and I'm sure you've all seen Elf the Moves movie just as I have and I love it and I love musicals so I think the two things put together is just going to be a massive Christmas extravaganza so the next one is Blind Date's Christmas Special this is also on tonight um, Saturday the 23rd it's also on Channel 5 straight after this Elf the Musical and it's on so 8pm so Blind Date for you viewers who don't know what it is, it was a show that Cilla Black hosted and I'm pretty sure she hosted it before I was born or maybe when I was young so I never watched it with her but this year Paul Grady has uh, bring back a series and I've actually been watching it and it's so cringy, it's like Take Me Out but it's so much better like I'm not a massive fan of Take Me Out, I just I just don't like it but Blind Date is that cringe that I just love and the Christmas special they're doing like a pantomime special so the girls are going to be dressed up as like um princesses and I'm guessing the man's going to be dressed up as a prince um, so yeah it's just like a dating show um, but it's super fun on tomorrow Christmas Eve it's going to be Michael McIntyre's big Christmas show now this is on at half eight now Michael McIntyre is one of my favourite comedians along with Miranda Hart which is also mentioned in this and he's just such a family com com comic comedic however you say that um, he, he just literally all his jokes are so relatable for any age and I just think they're so good and uh, basically his big Christmas show is if you haven't seen his soul series he presents a show and he does uh, a celebrity centre also he like texts off a celebrity's phone um, he has a unexpected star of the show so he surprises someone in the um, well not in the audience but kind of it will come clear when you watch it and they get to like surprisingly uh, perform on the stage and then he has like guest performers on like from music and comedians and obviously it's Christmas so it's going to be so much better um, so definitely check that out. Oh and that's on BBC One by the way. The next one is Not Going Out which is another uh, British sitcom. It's on straight after Michael McIntyre's big show on BBC One at 9.35. So this has been on, I'm pretty sure it's like they had the new series out this year. So all the previous series it's been like Lee and getting together with Lucy. It's Lee Mack by the way that's who like the main character is in it. Um, and then this year because it was on years ago like they've done like six or seven series before that I think and this year they brought one back so it's kind of like in time and Lee and Lucy have got together the pack kids and the series been on this year and it's so funny again it's it is quite rude 
hence the time that it's on but it is still about the family so it's still really funny and yeah the Christmas specials just I can tell it's gonna be so good the next one is actually we're going back in like a time but it's on again it's on Christmas Eve but this time it's on ITV it's 640 and it's all star musicals so basically what this is it's being hosted by I think Michael Crawford and Freddie Flintoff and there's gonna be I think six I want to say six celebrities are performing numbers I want to say there's one from Wicked, Lame Is, um, maybe Mary Poppins maybe Fiddler on the Roof. Um, I don't really think the celebrities are that famous that are on it. I know someone from Miranda, Sally Phillips is on it. I think Denise Lewis, who is a sportswoman, is on it. I'm not quite sure who else, but I love musicals and I don't know if it's gonna be the show kind of where celebrities are gonna end up singing really good if, or if they're gonna be bad or what. But it's sure, it's super fun to love if you are a fan of musicals. So number seven, and this is actually on at the same time. It's also on Christmas Eve. Um, it's on Channel 4 this time and it's on at eight. It's Child Genius versus Celebrities, but this is also repeated on Boxing Day at 2 p.m. And um, so, what is if you've not seen it before? It's there's a series on in the year, and it's basically where the top geniuses of the country, children, compete, and they're so 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 clever. Like you've got to watch it if you've not seen it before. They are um, ridiculously clever. Um, so this at Christmas they do like a versus like really clever celebrities, and they kind of have a yeah a compete off compete off does that make sense they compete each other um so yeah that should be really good but i would definitely have to watch that and catch up because i'll be watching all the other shows number eight it's the final thing that's on christmas eve and again it clashes with all the other shows but there is time to watch it on uh, catch up it is rat burger and it's on sky one at 6 p.m so i haven't actually got sky so i'm not quite sure how i'm going to end up watching this yet but i'm sure it'll end up being uploaded somewhere um, it is David Williams and it is every single Christmas he does books well, books that he writes and he turns them into like adaptations of TV films so I'm not sure what this is about but I'm guessing it's got something to do with rats and burgers um, but I've watched it every year I know there's been The Boy Who Dress Was One Year, Gangster Granny um, and I really love them too just for example and there has been others um, so yeah definitely it's one for the kids it's one for the family and it's really cool but if the position has changed it's just because I've had to change battery so the next show it's we're now on to Christmas Day it's Doctor Who and it is on on BBC One at half five now I actually haven't watched Peter Capaldi I watched five minutes I was like his first ever show and I really didn't like him but this year um in it they're bringing back like the very original Doctor's gonna be in it now the very original Doctor the first ever Doctor Who I think it was only in the 60s he isn't alive anymore so what they've got instead is David Bradley, who played Argus Filch in the Harry Potter films, is going to be in it as the first Doctor. So that's like the main reason why I'm watching it, because I'm sure it'll be great with him in. They're also doing the regeneration, and it's now generating into Jodie Whittaker, and she's a female Doctor. So even though she'll probably only be in it for like two minutes at the end, I really think it's going to be a great one to watch, even if you weren't a massive fan of him, because it's a Christmas special, and at the end of the day, you've got other people in. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to be watching it, and I'm sure if you're a massive Doctor Who fan, anyway, you'll be planning to watch it. The next one is definitely for, is definitely an older comedy, and I'm pretty sure it's like a 15 and plus. Um, it's Mrs. Brown's Boys. Now, part one is on Christmas Day, it's on BBC One, and it's at 10 o'clock. But there is a part two, so straight after EastEnders. The part two is going to be on New Year's Day at 10pm again. So obviously it's on at 10 o'clock, so... For you younger viewers out there, obviously, if you don't usually watch stuff like that, it's probably not for you. But it's, um, God, what's his name? Do, 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 do. Brendan O'Coyle, um, he dresses up as, like, a female and he plays Mrs. Brown. And it's just about, like, her family again. But it's really weird because the family in the show is pretty much his family in real life. So it's really funny, but it is quite rude, so... One and out there. We're now on to Boxing Day and we're actually going to go on BBC Two for the first time. And it is Two Doors Down. Now this is a comedy that I'm pretty sure no one I know watches. But I really find it funny. I'm pretty sure there's been two series on it. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but it's a Irish sitcom. Oh by the way Mrs Brown's Boys is Irish as well. Um, the, the, yeah, this is a row. I think there's three neighbours. Yeah it's three sets of neighbours. And it's just kind of what they get up to. But it is so funny, and there's one woman especially, she's called Kathy, and she's so funny, like, you've got to go watch it. So yeah, it's on at half ten, so it shows it's not as popular, but I really think it's funny, and I think sometimes the comedies that are less than heard of are actually can be the more funny ones, so definitely go get check that out. At number 12, we've got Birds of a Feather. Now this is on ITV, 
They're 10.15 on Boxing Day. Now, it has actually already been on. It's been on this week, early on in the week. I forgot the date. I feel like Tuesday, maybe. But it's a repeat on Boxing Day for you guys who haven't seen it so far. But it is an iPlay if you want to watch it now. Birds of a Feather is a comedy and it's got three women. It's the main characters in it. One of them, Pauline Quirk, who is the head of the acting school that I go to. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of why I watch to support her. But no, it is really funny as well. Again, it's an old British sitcom that I didn't actually watch the episodes when they were out. It was either this year or last year they brought back a new series. So yeah, go check that out. Number 13, we have the big fat quiz of the year. And this is on at 9 o'clock. And it's on in Channel 4. So this, every single year, I feel like they've done it for at least 10 years now. But Jimmy Carr hosts this quiz. And it's got different comedians. I think this year on it is... Oh, I do know. There will be a picture on the screen now. I want to say Rose Sheen. I'm not sure of her surname. Noel Fielding's on it. Um, God, what's his name? There's an... I can picture them, but I don't know. But it'll be on the screen somewhere. Um, and yeah, basically, they just ask questions about this year. So everything that's happened this year. And it's so... It's just great to watch. Like, I love quizzes. Like, quizzes are my favourite thing. And I love game shows. And it's just really good to play along at home and see what you know and what you've remembered from the year. But also fe features celebrity guests. And so it's a really good quiz to watch. And it is on for a long time. But it is really good because it sums up the whole year. But now on to the next day. So Wednesday the 27th. So, both of the things I've got on these days are actually on Channel 4, which is really weird because I barely watch Channel 4 throughout the year, but they've got, actually got some great stuff on on Christmas. So, this is a Super Shoppers sale special. It's on at 8 o'clock. So, I don't, haven't watched this before, um, but I love kind of money buying programs. So, this is a show for all you bargain hunters out there who like to see kind of where you can get the bargains, where the good offers are. Um, and it's obviously about the sales for New Year's, I'm guessing, or kind of between the Christmas and New Year's period. I don't know what to expect of it. It could be a load of rubbish, but there could be some really good money saving tips on that as well. The number 15 is about Miranda Hart, which I mentioned earlier on. It's called Miranda Does Christmas. It's on straight after the sales thing, and it's on at 9pm on Channel 4 again. So I'm not entirely sure what this is, but it's got Miranda Hart in, and she's so funny, and she's one of my favourite comedians, so definitely go check it out. I'm pretty sure she's just hosting a night of events or maybe it's just her talking and they show different Christmas stuff I'm not entirely sure but you're guaranteed if Miranda Hart's in it it's gonna be funny number 16 is actually the Royal Variety show now the reason why I've mentioned this is because Miranda Hart hosted it and it just reminded me of it so it was actually on this Tuesday the 19th but it is an ITV player to watch now I've never watched it any of the year I only watched it this year because Miranda Hart was hosting it um, and Kate and Will went to watch it this year so again if you don't know what it is it's just a show they put on at the end of each year to kind of show off all the talents of the year and the royals go and watch it so yeah it was super funny it was quite now i don't know if it's normal like this but it even had like the cast of benedum on there and it was just quite working class i thought and i didn't think it was really a show that maybe would be fit for the royals but kate and will seemed like they were having a great time and maybe it wouldn't be fit for someone like the queen but i suppose kate and will are younger so maybe they modernized to show up but it was so good it was on for a long time but you can skip to your favorite parts Tokyo Myers was on there, um, who was the winner of Britain's Got Talent, Paloma Faith performed, um, Annie the Musical performed, 42nd Street performed, a few comedians performed, I think Jason Manford did, so it's a massive great mix. And also they managed to get Prince William Scallop, so if you want to see that, definitely go check it out. And number 17 is another kind of like a bargain programme, kind of, and it's What Britain Bought in 2017. It's on Thursday the 28th, and it's again on Channel 4 at 9. Now, again, I don't have a clue what this is, but it just looks interesting for me because I love programs like this and I'm guessing it's just kind of going to be showing you what the top sales of the year were, what people bought the most, what the top brands were. Just something interesting if you are kind of, you like to watch them type of programs. So number 18 is 8 out of 10 cats, just cut it down, Christmas special. It's on Friday the 29th on Channel 4 again and it's on at 9 o'clock. But I'm not a massive fan of the show Countdown but I love watching 8 out of 10 cats just count down. Again Jimmy Carr hosts it and I have basically, it's a merger of the 8 out of 10 cats show and Countdown and it's kind of the um, presenters at 8 out of 10 cats or like the contestants. Basically the comedians and then they do Countdown and it has Rachel Riley in. And it's just a so 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 funny normally. Um, and again, it's a great quiz show to play along with, and it's Christmas special, so I'm sure it's going to be extra good. Number 19 is A Christmas Carol Goes Wrong. It is on Saturday the 30th, back to BBC One, and it's at 7.10pm. Now, I'm not entirely sure a lot about this, but I know A Piece of Pan Goes Wrong was on TV last year, and I watched it, and I remember really liking it. It's basically 
Um, it's from the makers of the people who does the play that goes wrong, which is a massive West End hit, and I know it's had a tour this year, so I was lucky enough to go see it at the Kerr Theatre, and it was so funny. It's just, I imagine that it's a Christmas carol, but obviously it goes wrong, so it's just going to be a load of mismatch. It's very, I imagine it's going to be very slapstick comedy. Um, so yeah, and I imagine that it is, obviously it's on early, so it's one for all the kids and the families out there as well. The final one is number 20. Now this is another David Walliams TV film this year. It's Grandpa's Great Escape. Now this is on New Year's Day. Um, it's on BBC One and it's on at 6.55. So again, he's actually got two Christmas things out this year, which I think is great. And yeah, it's obviously a Grandpa Escapes and it's about that. But it's another family, another thing that the family can enjoy. But it's really good as well because... Um, he's had really good predictions before, so I'm sure this is going to be just as funny. So that is the 20 things this Christmas that I will definitely attempt to watch. I can't assert and say I'm going to watch it all, but I know I've got a lot of free time in my hands, so hopefully I can watch it all. So sorry it's been a really long video, um, but I'm going to link all the inf information below. And I know it's been a lot to take in, but I wanted to like tell you guys the times and the channels and the days just so to make sure that you don't miss it but if you do miss it they'll all be on the iPlayers and I've just never seen um, a video like this before obviously I've seen films but I've never seen like what to watch this Christmas or what to watch on TV and I just think I know people have done like mentioned their favourite TV, pro TV programmes and favourites but I just feel like again a lot of you guys out there probably don't read like newspapers or magazines and probably don't know what's on TV so it's just kind of a shout out of a load of different things that you guys might want to watch this Christmas. So make sure you like, subscribe, and the comment down below, I don't know what the comment can be. Oh, what thing on that list was your favourite thing, or maybe something that you already watched on that list, and you know you're definitely going to watch on over Christmas. Yeah. So thanks for watching, and I will see you at 7pm for another video, which is a Christmas day. Get ready with me.